I, I have in my hand a digital portable TV. It's available with free delivery directly from freetv.ie. Um, so it's a nine inch screen on it. So it's obviously the nine inches measure diagonally. This is a really cool unit, both in terms of the general design and the specifications on it. So it comes with a T2 tuner. Um, so it means you can use it with free view high definition or a uh, serve view high definition. So, you know, regardless whether you're using it in Ireland, the UK or abroad, um, the specifications on it means that it can be used with uh, UHF air, um, aerial in virtually any country. In relation to um, uh, what comes in it, there's a, a quite a number of accessories here with it. So some of the great things are that you can uh, plug it in, run it directly from the mains, you can use a charger here to run it directly for, uh, when you're driving along in the car, but also in its own battery life it lasts for about three hours or so. And there's a good media player on it as well, so it means that you can use it back for playing music or movies, etc. So it'll be ideal, we'll say, for um, you know a, a travel type environment where you're just trying to keep maybe children entertained, something like that. So what exactly do you get? Well, you get the outer box, which you can see here. Uh, we have a user manual, which is in English. We have the charger for the car. We also have a small aerial, which in theory could work if you're right next to a transmitter or in a super uh, location. This just might work, but in general, we we'll say certainly in all our testing, we just ran it directly off of a UHF aerial, and that's why we have it here. And um, we're just running off a transmitter that's about 90 kilometers away. Um, what we have then is the power unit here with the um, two pin to three pin plug adapter. Uh, we have a uh, 3.5 millimeter the RCA adapter here, and then what we have is a remote control and also a set of headphones, which is really cool in terms of if you had kids that say want to listen to this, uh, they can actually put the headphones in and listen directly without um, uh, interfering with anybody else. Uh, so on the front here, we obviously have the screen and we have a sensor here for picking up the remote control. If we look at the top here, what we have is the menu and then arrow left and right, up and down for challenge, uh, channels and volume, etc. And then what we have is a, a source button for uh, choosing what source we're going to be using, whether um, we'll say a DVB-T, which is a digital thing, or flicking over to the media player, which we'll just use the source button there. And uh, with the enter button, which is effectively a, a select button. So this is where the UHF aerial actually pushes in here. So to see there's a coax style connection. We have a USB port here where we could add in our media player type stuff. Um, we have an on off switch, our headphones here, our 3.5 millimeter to, um, RCA connection here, and we have a card slot here, I think it's for a micro SD um, that we could insert here. We could use that in a similar way that we ha are using the USB for playing back with, say, videos, photos, etc. And then we have the charger here, so the DC input here, and that just plugs directly in like that. Okay. Um, on the back of the unit, then, uh, two more things. Uh, we have um, two speakers here. So, uh, and we also have this little stand that to pull out, and you can have it freestanding then on top of a table. So rather than holding it, you can have it um, held out like that. Uh, what I might do at this point in time is I'll actually come around to the front of the unit, and I'll just quickly show you some of the main menu features that are on it. So um, the first thing to note here is if we come along and we just hit the OK button, um, we have channel lists here. So if we tune this in on the free view channel or on the Serview channels here, and I think it's on the uh, the Irish News channel right now. So we can flick up and down through the menus there, or we can simply exit out here, and then what we can do is we can go to the menu, and we, we can use this, let's say, if we're going through the channels, all the tuning, setting up timers, things like that. Um, or if we wanted to go over to the media player, we'd actually hit the source button. We come along, hit source, and we'll scroll down as far as USB. Now, I have no USB um, uh, actually inserted right now, but it'll still have the menus in the background. And it's basically giving you a choice between uh, photos, uh, music, or uh, playing back videos. And we tested both some videos we made here and tested it on it, but also just some um, AVI and the MKV files, and it worked quite well. So um, I'll just go here to the source again, and we can just go all the way back out, and then we'll go back into the DVBT. Now, one thing to note, the ATV there is actually analog. So it seems to be able to support both analog uh, and digital, which normally would say would be a huge issue, but it's just a nice little feature that it has it there that it can do both. Um, so that's it anyway. Uh, this particular unit here, it's proved to be very reliable for us. We've sold a lot of these uh, over the last uh, couple of years, and I don't think we've had a single unit back. So it seems to be very reliable and just generally thing. It's a little bit of a niche product, I suppose, in terms of the, um, not everybody wants us to look at a television on a nine inch screen, but we'll say if you were um, traveling, especially with children, something like that, or if you had a, a suit, something, uh, it's just really flexible that you can use it in a car, then use it as a television thing uh, directly off a TV aerial as well. So that's it anyway, the nine inch digital uh, portable TV with free shipping directly from freetv.ie.